McDonald's. Who doesn't love a $2 greasy burger? Well, Americans freaking love it. Every single American, trust me, I, I know all of them. Anyway, yeah, McDonald's over the year has had some absolutely bizarre collaborations and collectibles, like obviously Grimace, Hamburglar, the crew from my childhood was phased out because of its absurdity. It's just weird looking and, and kind of scary. I am a fan of Hamburglar though, because he's got a great name. Uh, yeah, there's also been a lot of weird toys and collectibles for McDonald's. They do a lot of Happy Meal whatnots. Like I know there's like a really weird like Inspector Gadget one. I think there's like Michael Jordan something or other. There's a, a plethora of weird things that they have done. Some have been cool, obviously, well known for the Pokemon collaborations. Some of the older Pokemon cards from McDonald's are actually pretty valuable nowadays. So it's just fun that they do that, even if it is weird sometimes. Uh, yeah, what we're gonna be doing today is opening some Kerwin Frost McNugget Buddies. Maybe you've seen the horrific commercials about this. I present to you the Kerwin Frost Box. Yeah. I'll take that. Maybe you've seen weird pictures and advertisements of it, and maybe it's gone right over your head. And if that's the case, I'm sorry, you just barely missed out. Yeah, we got 10 of these today. If only I could explain to you the pain that I went through to acquire these. Like, I'm not a huge McDonald's fan in the first place. I liked it in high school, fine, but now I've kind of, I maybe outgrown it, I don't know. Anywho, don't go there very often, maybe once every three months, but I literally went to McDonald's five times and ate at McDonald's five times in five days. Not fun. I had to get 10, so I had to get 10 meals, so I look, would bring people along. I only threw one meal away. I was like, I can't on good conscience buy so much McDonald's and just throw it in the garbage. It just feels wrong. So then I like, took my brother's dinner and whatnot. Anyway, I have 10 of these. I'll stop talking about how I got them. I got them at freaking McDonald's. Yep, no surprise there. This is a box when you'd buy the adult Happy Meal. It comes in this box. Some really interesting art. I kept one. It was hard to keep one though because it is covered in fry oil and it is absolutely disgusting. These are the characters right here. Uh, yeah, we got Kerwin Frost, who is the namesake for the box. For those that don't know who the hell he is, yeah, I didn't know who the hell he was either. Apparently, he's like some fashionista from New York, and he's funny. Yeah, anyway, McDonald's freaking McNuggets. That's what he decided to use his fame for. So, yeah, Darla, Brick, Wafutu, Don Bernice, and Uptown Mo. I don't know if these are characters related to Kerwin Frost or made up for the sake of this box. I don't know. But yeah, so there's these six characters and then there is a hidden one. Probably saw it on the thumbnail. The legendary gold nugget. There's been some discrepancies on how rare the seating is. Some people say there's only one per McDonald's location and then other people say there's one per case and every McDonald's location received a couple of cases depending on how popular, how many people they get coming through their doors. So low chance I get the gold nugget today, but we'll see. I'm not gonna keep this humongous greasy box on my desk any longer. I am hoping and praying I get that gold nugget because I've seen listings for it as high as $100 on eBay. I think sales are closer to like 50 or 60 right now. But yeah, it'd be pretty freaking awesome to get a limited gold nugget. We'll get ripping into these. I, I'm not really sure all what to expect. I do know I want this brick guy. And um, yeah, what if one day you woke up as a McNugget? It's something I think about. Not as much as like, I don't know, Geometry Dash. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I hate Geometry Dash. There was this kid in my neighborhood. On the bus, he'd always have his headphones in. You gotta realize this is weird because this is like, I don't I don't know, freaking whenever Geometry Dash was released. I must've been junior high. That sounds more right. Anyway, I wasn't even, I probably didn't even own a pair of headphones is what I'm trying to say. And this dude is listening to Geometry Dash music on the bus every damn day. What in the world? Like, I get that that song that's also in Castle Crashers <laughs> kind of slaps, but man, I don't know. Okay, so we got a card here. Oh, so this is like a character card, I guess. So Wafutu, I'm assuming this is the character that we just got. It's fine. I don't really know. Oh, look, it says number one on it. I wonder if they actually are. Oh yeah, it says number one right there. Number two. Yeah, so they're they're numbered. I don't know if that's rarity or just completely irrelevant. It does say like random things, dips in honey, some stupid things, yappa do. Yeah, don't really care. I wonder if you can get this graded though. It is kind of cool that it's like a paint style art. Who knows? 
I'll probably sleeve them though, more for comedic value than anything else. I mean, if I have the whole set, it would be kind of funny to have a, a cool display of it. I don't know. Anyway, sorry to keep you guys waiting. Let's get to the actual nugget of it all. So it's wrapped up like they wrap up their headers, which is actually pretty freaking funny. I don't know, it does say Kerwin Frost on it. Like this is, this is a real deal, folks. All right, here she is. Wafutu, the McNugget. So it's, oh yeah, they, um, oh, whoa. Okay, so these are accessories. I don't know if that's cool or not. It's whatever to me, I guess. Uh, some random text on the bottom. It is just a McNugget with a face and then it, it dresses up. So I don't know if this character is like a princess or like a fairy godmother. There's like a stocking with a smiley face. I don't know, freaking weird. Uh, yeah, I just know Kerwin Frost, he probably had a hand in this and he like loves weird fashion is what I hear. So Wafutu, and yeah, here she is. I did hear at one point that maybe these boxes are like <sighs> serialized. No, not serialized, uh, numbered. Basically you could tell what is in the box before you open it. And pe maybe people would like be rigging the system to do that. I'm not a fan of that. So I have not read these. I don't know what number is what. I did kind of look and make sure that I had a, a large assortment of numbers. Cause I was like, I don't want to have 10 Wafutus, but I didn't know the number. So anyway, here we go. Let's, I'm not going to take out the card first. I'll take out the McNugget. It seems a little bit more exciting. Damn it. Look, nah, bruh. <laughs> okay. Uh, We've got Wafutu again. Can you double hair her up? Oh, it kind of looks a little bit scary doing that. Okay, well, we got two Wafutus now. I don't know how much these are worth, like the regular ones. Like I said, I think I know gold nugget value, but these are, I don't know, probably 10 bucks a piece or something. Actually, you know what? I do know that most of them are more than $10. I think most of them are like 12 bucks because I remember before I decided I wanted to go to McDonald's 10 times, I was like, oh, what if I just bought them online? Maybe I'd save money. And I was like, no, it's actually cheaper to buy the meal from McDonald's. I'm sure that's not the case anymore because it ended just a little bit ago. I remember thinking that. So they probably have more value than 10 bucks each, I'm guessing. Okay, this one's definitely, oh, this one's a tall nugget. Look, you can tell, big tall nugget. Man, that's kind of surprising. I thought they'd all have similar nugget dimensions. The nugget dimension, that's what these guys are from. Okay, Darla. I only know that because it says on her little shirt, trust me. I don't know them by name. She does have low-key my hairstyle. So we're kindred souls, I'd say. The McDonald's earmuffs, wish those were real. Maybe they huh? are, and a little sweater action. Let's take a gander at the card. What do you say, what do you say? Uh, can I get it out? It's like the monkey with like the, the candy or whatever, where he puts his hand in and gets it stuck and he can't get his hand out when he's, anyway, yeah. Don't listen to me. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, she's singing the McDonald's. Oh yeah, and she's number three. Cool. For probably most Americans, McDonald's is like a, a core memory of, from childhood. I don't want to speak for everybody. That's, that's how it is for me. McNuggets, yeah, I would go to McDonald's for my birthday because I was like, dude, the McNuggets there are so good. Ow, frack. Thing went right under my fingernail. Oh, ow, that hurt. Anyway, McDonald's McNuggets, yeah. I thought they were so good. My mom was like, I. You're gonna get huge if you go to McDonald's a lot. So you can only go like once or twice a year. Anyway, that was my cross to bear, but I bore it and now here I am. Are you kidding me? Darla? Okay, so apparently it's just everything is doubles. McNugget doubles. We almost, we're gonna have a 10 piece by the end, by the end of this. A hundred dollar 10 piece is basically what I paid for this. Darla card. I swear I was like, oh, I got at least five or six numbers. So I'm gonna be a little bit mad if I can't, uh, if I was wrong about that, because it's not gonna be easy for me to go back and get more of these at this point. <laughs> okay, I'm feeling something different. Let's see if I can, okay, I don't know. I, oh, please. Lord almighty, please tell me this is not Wafutu. It kind of feels like it. Man, this is really satisfying to open this up. No, no way it is. Nope, looks way different. Oh, sheesh. Brick is looking nice. Got that Frozone look on him. Man, this is actually, uh, I'd wear this, to be honest. These polar bear slippers, the little visor action. He does have blue eyelids. That's, I guess, what it distinguishes him from the other McNuggets. Yeah. This is the best one thus far, no doubt in my mind. I like the, just like the translucent blue. I will say like the accessories are, they're sturdy, man. The actual nugget, uh, it feels like you guys ever like have like the fake food set as a kid, you know, like so you could play home or whatever, like the fake banana. 
That's what this guy feels like. Just like a hollow piece of plastic. Oh boy. Gotta take a look at this card. Oh yeah. My boy looking drip. I'm way too cold. Yes, you are my friend. Like This is such a weird thing to just come up with. Just emerge from your brain. So I'm hoping there's some inspiration, but maybe Kerwin's just that creative. All right, well, we got half the boys. We're still missing Kerwin himself. Uptown Mo is like a rapper or something. And then Don Bernice, it's like a big Afro lady. So yeah, if we could get one of those, that would be nice. No. Oh. Ugh. Okay, this is definitely, I think it's Uptown Mel. I think I feel a little, a hat brim. He's like the shape of a freaking hamburger too. Uh, as far as the food at McDonald's, I will say, whoa, Uptown Mo. yep, what I say. McNuggets suck. Like they actually taste like shit. However, Big Mac, low-key kind of good. So his arms are like a train. Like the train is going into his arm and then it looks like he probably comes out this side. His body is like a city all the way around and his hat does not fit quite right, but it does have the M on it. A nice McDonald's hat, grimace color nonetheless. Let's see his card though. Ooh, yeah, that's him strolling around. Looks like it's snowing where he's at, Yeah. It's Christmas time. Keep your ears to the streets and your eyes to the skies. Uh-huh, yeah, whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. Oh yeah, sleeved up, my friends. All right, we're coming down to the wire. We only got three of these suckers left. Anyway, uh, yeah, Big Mac good. Oh, can we talk about McDonald's Sprite for a second as well? Five of the four times, I, or four of the five times rather, it was so good. I was like, Sprite here is the best Sprite I ever had. And then one time I had it, it was literally just soda water, which I used to like puke every time that kind of stuff touched my lips, but I've been trying to drink that kind of stuff, like liquid death and whatnot. Oh, Kerwin himself with the pencil tattoo on his face and really detailed hair actually for a McDonald's toy, phenomenally detailed hair. Also, look at his shoes. Are these Grimace shoes? Looks like it. There's a lot of detail actually put in these McDonald's toys. Very fresh looking. He does actually have this pencil tattoo in real life. I was trying to learn some about him before I filmed this video, something about he put that on his face so he could get kicked out of school. I don't know. And here's the Kerwin Frost card. He's looking polite to say the least. There's a little McNugget in everyone. That's true. I can't like disagree with that necessarily. There might be a little McNugget in me. Okay, they all have like a different color back. That's nice, little detail. It would be really funny to get these all graded if that was a thing you could do. Alrighty, my boys. We got two McNugget buddies left and I'm positive this is the last time I'm gonna open these. <laughs> this is not a reoccurring episode, promise that. All right, let's see here. Wait, what do we even need? We need Don Bernice or Gold Nugget. Oh, please, Gold Nugget. I've been wishing hard enough. No, no. What fuck do? Get your ugly ass out of here. Ugh. If I was gonna get another freaking double, I'd rather have brick. I mean, maybe even Kerwin would be fine. Card again. Okay, please, Gold McNugget. Yeah, I'm shredding this box. It's good luck. It's how you get go Gold Nuggets, I've heard. Oh, it's feeling way too tall to be Gold Nugget. But it might be Bur Don Bernice. It might be an Afro. And it is... Darla! No! Gosh, dang it. These two are probably the worst to get three of. I, I'm freaking pissed. I thought this might happen. Welcome back. Yeah, I did something maybe kind of rash. A few moments later. Gold nugget! Hey! Yeah, so basically I said to myself, I spent a hundred bucks on these stupid things already. There's no way I'm not gonna complete my collection. So yeah, here's gold McNugget. I don't remember if I talked about this already, but yeah, he's probably worth 60 bucks ish only to go up from there. Now talk about an investment. Yeah, so he is the same size as a regular nugget, but he doesn't come with any accessories, but he's way heavier, like three times the weight. Like he doesn't feel empty. Also, he does look just fantastic. He does have the same face as brick though. Not that I really care. And here is the McNugget legend card. Looking fantastic. I picked this up along with the other one I was missing off of a McDonald's employee. Straight homie, to be honest. And he told me it would help me get future collection things from McDonald's. So watch me become a McDonald's dude. That's what I'm gonna become. Anyway, yeah, I, I feel like I need to like get a way to display gold nugget. Give me ideas. From now on, he will at least be in the back. And a little bit less exciting here is Don Bernice. Uh, yeah, she has a humongous throne that weighs like 10 pounds and she does also have a pretty sweet Doctor Strange cape. I'm sorry I made that reference because I really, really hate Marvel, but 
It's the only thing I could think of. I'm sorry. Yeah, and here is the Don Bernice card. I'm not a salad, but I be dressing. She did not have to go that hard. Oh, this one says, close your eyes and make a wish. Don Bernice has a better saying. Probably the best saying. I'm gonna have to have to say that, unfortunately, for Gold Nugget. Here's the squad. What do you guys think of this? Was it cool? Maybe I need to commit myself to the in insane asylum for spending money on these. Anyway, please like and subscribe, gamers, and give me ideas of what other garbage I should open. Bye.